In this video, we will talk about inherited widget in Flutter. Whenever your child widget needs to access parents' widget data, it could become troublesome and messy to pass the data through widgets constructor, level by level. Inherited widget saves you from passing data around by allowing child widget to have direct access to the data. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. In order to implement inherited widget, firstly, we have to create our own widget class that extends inherited widget class. Next, add the data field that you wish to pass around to the widget class. For example, I will add an integer field called age. Then in the widget constructor, pass the age parameter and don't forget to add a widget type child parameter too. Now, whenever we extend inherited widget class, we are required to override a method called update should notify. This method is implemented to control when the widget should be updated. For tutorial purposes, I will just return true. Next, we have to create an off method to access the data fields. Now we have done created our own widget class that extends inherited widget class. This widget class has an integer field, a constructor, an override method, and a static method. Coming back to our main code, in order to have access to our own widget class, we have to wrap our widget class before material app widget. So look for material app widget, then wrap our own widget class as parent to the material app widget. This is important as if you add the widget class wrongly, you can't access to the data field. So in our own widget is where we initialize the data field. In my case, I will provide a static value to the age data field. You can initialize the data field with the data you get from HTTP network requests. Now we have initialized our data field at the top of the widget tree. Next is how we can access and retrieve the data field value. So whenever you want to access to the data field, you just have to call your widget class name, which in my case is my inherited widget dot of context dot the data field name. So I will just display the retrieve value in a text widget. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, the text widget shows the age value, which is 30. Now I will create a new screen, access the same age value and display in the text widget. So in the elevated button, I will add a navigation to the new screen. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So the first screen shows the H value. When I click on the navigation button, new screen added and it displays the same age value. So this is how you share data across parents and child widgets using inherited widget in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. 
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.